Hi friends, in this video we will see how to use throughput controller. Okay, what is throughput controller? So throughput using throughput controller, uh, you can specify the uh, number of percentage of the users uh, can execute that particular step. Okay, uh, here we have uh, created a script with uh, on JPEG store, which will do the user login, launch, click on sign in, login, selecting the random product and uh, Next, uh, going to the add to cart, proceed to checkout, and confirming the orders, and logging out of the logging out of the application. So, if you take any realistic uh, e-commerce applications like Amazon or uh, any any other giant uh, e-commerce site like eBay, so not all users will do uh, the payment. Uh, the I mean payment of the products. They will put they won't purchase the products. E uh, users who, who log in into the application. So some will just go and uh, browse the products and add clicks add to cart and not go to evolve the payment now. So just then as per the realistic uh, conditions, uh, I'm using a throughput controller to make it uh, more realistic now. So I'm using throughput controller. Uh, to add throughput controller, right click on the thread group, go to add sample so login controller. Under login controller, you will have a throughput controller. To make your throughput controller uh, in your script, your script, or your script or one of the transactions should have at least 100%. Maximum should uh, have 100% of your uh, one of the transactions should have 100%. So I'm making uh, percentage executions. I'm making percentage execution. So percentage execution is 100%. 100% uh, uh, I want to run this uh, throughput controller. But uh, next, I'm duplicating it. I'm duplicating it to okay. So launch, uh, sign in, login, category, product, item, add to cart, proceed, and uh, uh, continue payment, confirm payment logout okay so for logout i'm making 100 percent uh for logout i'm making 100 percent yeah now we have all the now we have all the all the uh, transactions under throughput control okay so the first throughput control has a launch i need i want our launch has to be but every user has to launch the page and uh uh Every user has to sign in, 100% of user sign in. Uh, so there's a login, 100% of user has to do login. And uh, there's a click on category. Yeah, 100% has to, 100% of user has to do the category. And uh, uh, product, browser product. So now I want to do, I want to do 80% of, 80% uh, of users to do a uh, product category. Okay, and uh, this one also 80%. I make it this users also. No, I make it this users as 70%. 70% of users will come to uh, click on item, and uh, uh, only 50% will click on add to cart. 50% of users are clicking on add to cart. So I'm making 50% of users clicking on add to cart, and I click proceed. So I'm making 50% uh, for the proceed as well. 50% for the proceed as well and uh, click on payment this continue payment i'm making the 30 percent of users will continue payment only 10 percent only 10 percent will confirm your payment okay so now uh, i'm running my threads thread users with 10 users 10 users with each user as one one iteration uh, let's run the script and we'll see for how we, how many times. So, as per our expectation, login has to be done for 10, 10 users 10 times. Uh, click on product, click on product 80 times. So, click on product transaction has to happen for 80 users. And click on proceed to happen with 5 users. And uh, continue payment has to be done with 33 users. Only one payment has to complete. Okay, we'll run and we'll see. So 10 login transactions, 8, uh, 8 click on product, 
ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ವಿತ್ uh at least uh, jmeter will throw an exception and if you don't add a throughput controller to any of your transaction then that will take it as 100% to execute your script okay so this is how we will throughput controller friends thanks thanks for listening